Tony Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22, and this is the Bavarian Building Package by Byron Agrar. 89.56 megabytes to download. That sounds like a lot, when well, it may be for some, but you get 11 buildings in this package, including a uh, barn, a cow barn, and 10 other placeable items basically all the rest are sheds uh except for one this is a house actually or a sleep trigger so what we're going to do is we're going to look at them in the construction menu first go through them with the slots and then uh, individually look at them uh the sheds we're going to go briefly through them we're going to spend a little bit more time uh at the cow shed so first of all Let's start with the cow shed, because it's a doozy. We'll look at it in animals and cows, and here it is. The farmhouse with integrated cow stable. Now, when it says farmhouse, uh, we'll explain that in a moment, because actually there's 12 placeables with this, and an interesting one at that that might be of interest um, to some of you, perhaps uh, on PC. This is for all platforms but I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl. Now, as, as I was blabbing along, you could see that we have this um, farmhouse with integrated cow stable. Now, this is 62 slots on console. There's a lot going on here, so beware of the slot count on that. Moving on to the house, the farmhouse is actually under farmhouses. And there it is here, farmhouse with a hall. So it's basically a sleep trigger with a garage attached. And it's actually very similar in a lot of things, on a lot of respects, to the barn house. But anyways, uh, $320,000 to place there. And that is 35 slots on console. All the rest are found under, oh yes, one last thing, sleeping trigger for the farmhouse with cow stable. Uh, that I have placed this trigger, where did I place it? Uh, oh yes, right here, that's where I placed it. Now, interestingly enough, this is a sleep trigger with no cost. So zero dollars to place that street sleep trigger so that might be of interest. You could place it in as many as you want, anywhere you want. And you'll have a sleep trigger. Say, I want one right here. Or I want one over by the barn again. Another one by the barn right over here. Or uh, you get the idea. You can make anything a sleep or many, any building a sleep trigger. Now, let's just breeze through the sheds because that is the remaining of all the rest of the... Uh, items and we have the barn with barn with hanging shed yes that's this one over here uh, the sheds are in order five of, of slots um, five four five five six fifteen eighteen and seventeen so fifteen eighteen and sorry seven so the fifteen and eighteen for these two seven for this one there is one other actually under decoration others and uh, not there where is it there it is this little fella here is actually under decoration decoration shed i'm not sure why it's there not under sheds but there it is all right let's have a run through of the cow barn we have the cow, the trigger here, animal trigger here. It holds 12 cows. Uh, very small door. Uh, you don't need much food for cows. Uh, 10,000 liters and 3,800 liters of straw. Water is automatically supplied. There it is. Productivity milk slurry. It will produce milk and slurry. And as you can see, food capacity 10,000 liters and straw 3,800 liters. Now, funny enough, it actually comes, I did not place these here. These are, oh, these are heavy. Um, these were here, come here with the barn. So you have a, uh, what is this? 
Um, objects too heavy. Why don't I have my... Oh, I'm in the cow bar. I think that's... Looks like grass. Could be grass. We got a straw here. Um, I do have... Did have... Oh, wait a minute. It's out here. I did try to... Really? Open that back up. Come on, open up. Let me out. Um, I did have a straw here. It does not take bales. So no bales. So it's oddly enough that it comes with bales, but you would have to shred them with a bale shredder. Right, okay. So walking in here, it is a drive through As you can see, that door opens. There is a light switch here that turns on and off the lights for the entire building. There is an upstairs, which is storage only. And if you can crawl up here, there we go. Large, very large storage area. The Oh, we have a gate here. Come on, open up. Oh, open the gate, please. That's odd. Right. Okay. Um, right. There's a ramp outside. Let's go to the ramp. Why is it not opening? Well, we have an outside door here. That one works. Oh, I wonder if that's... Oh. Huh. <laughs> that's... That's giving me the trigger for the downstairs gate. Um, okay. No gate upstairs. Um, yeah, lots of decoration. There's more. Is that actual straw bales up there? Or is this just decoration? Uh, yeah, these are actual straw up here as well. So, straw hidden everywhere. A uh, little man door here. All the little doors open. Uh, not that one, apparently. Because that goes to some hidden room there. A secret room that you can't get in. Yes, oh, that's because it's to the house. You cannot get in the house. Right. Uh, milk here. And slurry here. I have set up a manure silo to catch the manure. And uh, as we, uh, at the end of the uh, video, we were going to, we'll go ahead in time and uh, see uh, what our numbers look like. And we're going to test the slurry and milk production. Moving on to the house. Well, it's oddly enough, this house, you can't get in anywhere. Uh, the sleep trigger is here. No, uh, there is no wardrobe trigger. And this door does not open. These doors, however, do open. This is a door here. Open and close. See what you mean? Uh, this looks very familiar to the cow stable area, except it's not a walkthrough. And this door does not open. There's some decoration here. This door does open. Light switch is here on the wall. It, too, lights up uh, everything. And we have some stuff up here uh, decoration only on these now this is not a cow barn however it is set up like a barn but there is no animals or anything uh, light switch here of course as I said oh on each either side right so that's the the next one now let's look at this little um, decoration as it were uh, it's not for vehicles, obviously. It is just a little shed. Uh, decorative water um, point, I'm guessing. We will test. You know what? Let's just uh, let's just give that a quick test. That's curious. There's a fire hydrant right next to that. No, it does not work as a water point. All right, well, let's zip around to our other, the next shed. I'm going to go do these in all the, in the order that I showed you uh, at first with all the slots and so forth. Uh, that's literally, literally just a little shed with a very small door. 
and then we have a, a number of the sheds uh, no lights that I can tell in any of these neither in this but nicely decorated and so forth it's a shed it's a decoration pack now now we get into the oddball kind of uh, that we have two odd ones in this and this one is as you can see has created a big mm, lower area shall we say and kind of made a really bad mess of this here when placing it down and I'm not really sure looks like there is no lighting in here no um, yes, so this is, under sheds, this is this one here. And when placed down, it does that. And I have not figured out what that's supposed to go with. I've tried mesh meshing it with th this one. It's just a bit odd. Um, doors open and close uh, like that this door opens and closes and uh, does not have a collision with the ground oddly enough so is it could be somewhere where you back a truck in and load in uh, load product in this could be a loading area perhaps although the way it's places is is a bit odd so anyways there's that one the next one is kind of like the opposite of the other one except equally as odd and that is this one Bavarian machine hall and when that one is placed it does this it creates a big lump with um, an area here that uh, that you can open the gate so it's a raised raised half I guess you, you'd have to terraform a ramp or put a ramp. It looks like it's meant to be raised because there's a little fence here up to here. So I, I get that, although there's nothing in the description that explains that. And here we have a lower area with a uh, kind of like a workshop area couple of gates a couple of doors a smaller workshop area and lights switch is there light switch over here right um, moving on to the second last of the sheds we have this one with the uh, three door kind of open let's see here let's close this one it's got the sliding doors so when that one opens this one is um, restricted uh, they all open except as you can see the sliding so yeah you can only have two doors open at any one time uh, I think unless it's one of those <laughs> strange Chinese type puzzles uh, light switch there's a light switch right here L3 that's pretty simply just and it has a, oh, a nice little decoration of a, um, a parking area back here some nice windows for natural light and then finally we have this one which also has a sliding door for some reason on the open side here and uh, the same kind of three sliding door type idea over here except this one slides that way so that you can that one slides over so you can see it's oh it slides all the way over okay uh, where does this one go oh it goes that way so we're kind of hooped on this side but you can at least get three of them open at one time close that and open this one yeah so as, as for light switches here is the light switch L3 turn off it's not all that well it's not bad oh no light switch light switch not bad for lights uh, anyways that's the sheds as uh, so back to back to our barn we're going to uh, go ahead in month 
and see how <clears throat> long our food it's already food has already gone down by the time I finish talking here so we're on um, we're on real time as, as in one times time not anything accelerated so let's have a look at uh, what that happens there all right so let's have a look at our uh, animals so uh, food has gone down by about half uh, straw a third we have slurry and milk and uh, everything seems to be okay so they are surviving let's see our manure situation yes we have manure so manure is being produced and captured very good now um, my uh, my way of filling the food and straw is pretty simple I have them in these uh, lizard uh, goods goods lizard goods global goods transport bag if that's not an awkward name I don't know what is straw as you can see straw goes in loose straw goes in here or if you want to take a bale and shred it with a bale shredder that will also work but no bales and a TMR now you could get in here with a small trailer if you like or whatever uh, however uh, this works too I do it for convenience again water is automatically supplied and now we're going to where is our other little fella here we go let's go test out the milk trigger it is in a bit of an awkward spot however I am hoping there we go start filling yes so milk amount of milk produced 1538 liters which is not bad for 12 cows for a month and so we'll just dump that off and uh, the slurry trigger is a little less convenient however it does pop up fairly uh, easily and there it is so oh, probably a, a non-articulating um, trailer would be best to get in there anyways and there it is so it works 12 cows only but uh, the uh, with farmhouse was kind of farmhouse with integrated cow stable the farmhouse actually um, you have to add that free trigger somewhere around here to make it an actual um, sleep trigger combination farm uh, barn yeah, barn barn house stable cow cow barn anyways there you go that's the bavarian buildings building package by byron agrar 89.56 megabytes to download it's a pack of 12 placeables on uh, farming simulator 22 it's for all platforms and i'm on ps5 doing this test thank you all for watching i'm looney farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time Bye for now.